Ministry of Health of Ukraine. Croc 2. Medicine. Year 2019, number 111. A three-week-old infant developed large, flaccid vesicles with purulent contents on the skin of chest and abdomen. The vesicles rupture quickly. Make the provisional diagnosis. A. Toxic erythema. B. Pemphigus syphiliticus. C. Pemphigus neonatorum. D. Pseudo. Furunculosis. E. Vesiculopistulosis. Pemphigus neonatorum is a disease of the newborn, in which vesicles or blebs, usually flat on the top, appear with or without fever, on a perfectly normal or reddened skin with pinhead size vesicle elevation, which rapidly develops into a large bleb. As the disease progresses, relapses may occur, yet the infant may recover promptly after a single outbreak of but few blebs. In some cases, these blebs show a marked tendency to peripheral extension, which finally dry, leaving a thin brown crust. Pemphigus syphiliticus is a bullous eruption that may develop among the fetuses who are transmitted. Syphilis, a chronic infectious disease caused by a treponema pallidum, spirochete, from there. Mother in the uterus, congenital syphilis. Erythema toxicum neonatorum, called toxic erythema of the newborn, is a harmless rash which newborns get. It looks like a combination of flat patches, tiny bumps and pus-filled bumps. It doesn't cause any symptoms and goes away on its own over a few days without leaving any scars. It happens in up to half of all term babies. It usually starts on the face. It sometimes spreads to the arms, legs and torso. It doesn't usually come up on palms of the hands and soles of the feet. It is less common in premature babies. Pseudofurincal is a condition caused by dermal myiasis caused by larva of dipterous flies in. Treated by removing the larva. Pustulosis is highly inflammatory skin condition resulting in pustules, large fluid-filled blister-like areas, small elevations of the skin usually consisting of necrotic inflammatory cells. It typically occurs on the palms and or the soles, where the skin exfoliates. The answer is C. Pemphigus neonatorum.